Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology and this video is about Gemini moon signs and Gemini ascendants and how the upcoming month of August is going to unfold for you. Before I go ahead with the predictions, request all of you to subscribe to my channel and if you feel that the content of this video is going to give you some kind of guidance for the month of August, do like the video and share with others as well. Thank you in advance and now let's let me begin with the predictions. In August, we have three planets retrograde in the sky. Saturn and Venus are already retrograde and on 24th of August, your sign lord Mercury is also going to get retrograde. So three planets retrograde, three very different life-changing energies in the sky. Now, this is not so bad for you. You are doing way better than many other signs in August. The planets are placed in such a way for you in the month of August that you are actually going to get benefited out of this, whether they are retrograde or not. It looks like, you know, Gemini people have been going through such an ordeal for last two and a half years that the planets have decided to bless you even in such a difficult month. When others are grappling, you are doing just fine. In the beginning of the month, you have your sign lord Mercury, Mars and retrograde Venus in your third house and then Jupiter and Rahu placed in your 11th house. It's a month of ambition fulfillment. It's a month of wish fulfillment. You will put in your best effort. You will put in your best foot forward to materialize your dreams in August. And communication will be the pivotal factor in your success. If you are working in the communication, advertising, media, journalism, sports, or in other creative fields, August will be an excellent month for you. You will see increase in your own initiatives. With your own efforts, you will bring success for yourself. You will work hard to materialize your dreams, as I mentioned earlier, and planets are helping you to fulfill your dreams. For materialistic success, August is a great month for you. If you want to begin a new project or start something on your own, make sure that you do it after the 7th but before 24th. August is also going to be a super busy month for you. There will be multiple short travels. Sun is placed in your second house till 17th. This is not that great for savings and there can be family issues as well. However, when Sun moves to your third house in the sign of Leo, it brings positive news for you. In the work front, there will be recognition waiting for you. A promotion or a new job is also possible. Your financial situation improves in August. Sun in Leo will come face to face with Saturn. That's retrograde also. So this is a very special kind of opposition because here both will be in their Mool Tricone signs and both are extremely powerful. It doesn't happen often. Saturn's opposition can create some obstacles or delays in whatever efforts you are making in the second half of the month, you may need to put in additional efforts to make things happen. But note that things will happen for you. Travel will be there, but it can get rescheduled, particularly after 24th when Mercury gets retrograde. 
Mars in your third house till 18th is also helping you to accomplish your goals and uh, it's not only in your professional life but also in life as a whole. You will also squash all competitions. Mars will have Saturn's aspect though and Saturn here is asking you to inculcate some patience and not to take any action without thinking. Mars goes to your fourth house on 18th of August. Now this is going to be bring some focus on your property matters in the home front. Mars here is not really great for domestic peace. It's not really great for uh, domestic harmony so you need to be mindful of that mars here can also create trouble for your mother's health your vehicles may also need repairs during this time take additional care and try your best to keep cordiality with your close family members after 18th of august your own health and mental peace will need attention after 24th and more so when Mercury gets combust on 29th of August. Now coming to the most difficult planet of the month and that is Venus. Venus in the beginning of the month for one week is sitting in the enemy sign of Leo in your third house. Position wise, not a bad position, but it's weak. It's retrograde as well, so it's trying to overcome its weakness. It's going to give you some good results till the first week. And then Venus is going to go to your second house. Position wise, again, great, good for money, but mind that it's retrograde. And Venus will also cross Gandanta point of Cancer Leo. So it's a turbulent energy for Venus. It's turbulent energy for your money, for your savings and for your family atmosphere as well. Venus is also combust between 6th and 20th of August. So all in all, it's a completely battered Venus and it's not really good as I mentioned, for your finances, for your relationship and also for expenses. It can cause big time expenses for you. And these expenses will not be required. You will be spending a lot of money on clothes. You will be spending a lot of money on jewelry, on fine dining. Some things which are which are good to have but not necessary it can also impact your love life and can cause misunderstandings between uh, two of you because of communication issues physical relation between you and your spouse can also get negatively impacted mars in your fourth house after 18th is also indicating troubles in married life so again, put some efforts there if you are married. In August, take care of your food habits. Avoid eating sweets too much. Be careful of what you say and how you say. An egotistic or aggressive communication style is not going to help you in August. Although marriage prospects are there for you, but I would suggest not to, uh, not to tie the knot, not to go for the wedding. Wait for better times in future. If you have children, their health or their career can cause concern for you. And for some of you, change of residence is also foreseen in August. So all Gemini people, this is what I had to share with you for the upcoming month of August. You are, I would say, you know, quite safe in August compared to many other signs. It's a good energy for you with some pitfalls here and there. Take care of those and forge ahead in life and career.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this was useful for you. Do subscribe to my channel and like the video, share with others as well. Thank you. May God bless us all.